Hello Taurus, it's Erica here to do your December general reading. We're going to be looking at the overall energies coming in. This is going to be for Taurus Sun Moon Rising or if you have prominent Taurus in your chart. Obviously it's general, won't resonate for everybody. Only take the messages that fit and if this reading doesn't fit, do check out your other placements, your prominent placements in your chart um, and check those videos out. And with that, guys, I am doing something fun this holiday season. I'm doing some flash sales, and they usually only last about 24 hours. So if you are interested in getting notified, um, do subscribe and hit the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on any of them. And I'm announcing one today, which is I have a series on 2021. It's three hours of channeled messages and videos all about what's coming up in 2021. So if you're interested, the flash special is going to be good through midnight Pacific time, Saturday, December 5th, and it is going to be for 50% off that 2021 video series so if you're interested the link is down below to check it out and there is a coupon code that you do need to use in order to get the 50% off and that is also down below so let's get started here for you Taurus what is going on for you in December so we're starting out with the new moon in Gemini energy the communication is key and then we have the new moon in Leo okay confidence is your key to success and we have nothing will come of the situation. So what I have here is there's definitely a new beginning, a new start for you, Taurus. Something that you're ready to open up and talk about. This can be in any area of your life. But it is like, I feel like you're going to start something new. You may talk to somebody. You may announce something. You might tell people, hey, you know what? I'm going to do this. And you're feeling really confident about it. But then I feel like you're going to be experiencing um, that question mark after you begin or after you talk about it. And that question mark, this card, the nothing will come of the situation card, typically to me is like that card of it's either nothing's going to come of it or there's nothing to worry about. But it, to me, it's an indicator of doubt and uncertainty. And it's usually an opportunity for a spiritual lesson. It's kind of like the devil energy in, in the way that it speaks to me. So let's actually get some more details here. What is this communication about? Get some more details on each of these energies. What is this communication about, Taurus? We have the Daughter of Wands. And we have the Four of Wands. Wow. Wow. Followed by the Ten of Pentacles and the Strength card. Well, here it is, right? We have the communication. We have a manifestation. We have stability. We have a celebration. You're excited and you're confident. And I do feel for some of you this could be love related because the Strength card, this lion is here holding a rose in his mouth. Um, and there is a uh, infinity symbol on his forehead. But I do feel like whatever you're announcing here this month, Taurus, you're really feeling good about it. You're feeling confident. You're feeling bold. You're feeling courageous. There's a massive chance for success here. Um, for some of you, it's like there's just a lot of um, excitement here. But there is some news with this Page of Wands, Daughter of Wands. Let's see what this uh, confidence is about, this new moon and Leo energy. We have the Mother of Swords. We have the Six of Pentacles. And we have the Nine of Swords. So you are stressing about it. You are stressing about it a little bit. And certainly for some of you, you could be communicating that you're you're ending something. Something is done. Something is complete. You're cutting something out of your experience. Um, you could be cutting people or situations out of your experience because you're done with drama. But it does feel like you are very clear with whatever you're beginning that you want things to be balanced. You want to put effort in towards it. You're ready to put effort into something new. But you are stressed about it, which is with this Nine of Swords, why you have this confidence is your key to success and also probably why this card is coming in. So it's almost like um, I, 
feel like there's a lot of clarity. Let's get a card on this um, Mother of Swords. I'm getting someone could be disproving of you. I don't know why I got that, but communicating it, this Mother of Swords and the world. See, you are putting an end to something. But, and, and, and you're cutting something out. And you could be stressing about whatever you're cutting out, whatever, whoever you need to say, like, you know what, I'm done with this, not working, whatever. Um, so let's see what this nothing will come of this situation is about, Taurus. And we have the five of wands and the seven of wands. Okay. Followed by the Seven of Pentacles. See, yeah, that's what I'm feeling. And the Father of Swords. Interesting, we're getting the Mother and the Father of Swords here. And they're both owls. They're very wise. I'm feeling like here's the conflict and here's the guardedness and the defensiveness. Um, and I feel like you're wondering if the effort you're putting in is going to have paid off, but you are being very clear and decisive here. This is an interesting reading Taurus. Let me get a card on the seven of pentacles, the mother of pentacles. Yeah, it's like you're waiting for the success. You're waiting for the results. And in the meantime, I'm sorry, this is the 10 of wands. This is not the five of wands. It's interesting. I saw that as a V, not as an X. But again, no accidents in tarot. Um, Some of you certainly could be leaving a relationship and you're needing to communicate it and you're stressing about communicating it because it's going to be kind of overwhelming. There certainly could be, um, if it's a relationship that has children, you could be um, thinking like, gosh, I put all this energy and effort into this, this family and now it's not working. But I do feel like there is something that's ending here and... Um, but the ending leads to is leading to a very positive new beginning. But it feels like possibly the communication might be what's difficult here. Let's get a card on this Father of Swords. And here's the Five of Wands. Well, the Spirit's like, yeah, you were feeling the energy, Erica. That's why you said Five of Wands. So they're just giving it to me. So here it is. Conflict conflicted you're going to be you're going to win over this conflict and you're going to take action you're going to take action so taurus let's get the guidance for you what is the best guidance for taurus for december because you have success here when you are courageous And there is um, something worth celebrating here. There is stability coming. But there's like just something in the middle here, something in between. So what is the guidance for Taurus for December 2020? Surrender to your full power. And look at that lion again. And the lion here too. We've got three lions, Taurus. No bulls, but we have lions. It says your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small. So whatever you're leaving behind has been keeping you small. And you're ready to be bursting forward into your powerful self, Taurus. So with that, guys, I hope you have a fabulous month. I hope that was helpful. And until next time, I send you much love. Bye.